Praise the Lord right now. If you could just stand up and just shake somebody's hand, welcome them, and say, I love you. I love you in the mighty name of Jesus. <laughs> So, first of all, I just want to welcome everybody. I, I know that uh, some of you guys came a long way. I know we're going to call all the representatives of all the uh, clubs that are here and all the ministries. When once you come up, then we'll introduce you guys to everybody. Then you can turn around and they're going to take a picture of your back. Okay? So we have the different clubs. Um, we're going to open up in prayer first. And then uh, we're going to have, um, where's brother at? Come on up, brother. Yeah. We're going to have him do the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag like we always do. Amen? Amen. Yeah. Amen. Let's stand up, pick up our hats, and uh, let's give God the glory today. Yes. Father, we came this morning to give you the glory. We came to lift up the name of Jesus. Yes. We are so thankful for the blood of Jesus, for the mercy of Christ, you that have kept us on the highways and the byways. We exalt your name today. Let everything that have breath praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you right now. We praise you. We invite you to be with us in this service. And we give God all the glory and all the praise. And everybody says amen. Yeah, this is my uh, my senior pastor right here, Pastor Richard Rangel. Let's give him a round of applause. He basically stepped in to, to open up in prayer because uh, he had a trip planned, but it got canceled. So that's why he's not on the on the uh, talking agenda. But you know, we've always loved to hear him when he speaks. Amen. 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 So today, uh, I just want to wish my sister a happy birthday. Amen. Amen. So she says that uh, she's 21 years old. So praise the Lord for that. Amen. I didn't ask her how old. I just said you're 21. So yeah. yeah. And we'd like to welcome um, uh, our good friend and pastors, Pastor uh, Matuk and Esther, Ruben and Esther. So you want to welcome? Yeah. 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 We're kind of looking, you know, we've been doing that for five or six years, you know, and then COVID hit, right? So, uh, but I appreciate each and every one of you, you know, uh, if you love Jesus, you're part of the family of God. You're our family. Amen. We welcome Amen. you in the name of the Lord. Also, um, we have a good turnout. I think this is a good turnout yeah. for the last Jesus. few years, right? Amen. So, uh, Amen. Be safe today as you go out. It's going to be hot and stuff, right? And, uh, you know, because we're living in a crazy world mm. this day and age, right? Yeah. But those that have yeah. Jesus, we wear light unto a darkened world. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So, yeah. Right. As you go out there, we, we just ask you to just be safe. Amen. And, and, and next year, bring somebody else with you. Amen. Yeah. And, and we look forward to moving forward in the things of the Lord. I don't want to say hi, babe. Hi, babe. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I just want to, uh, you know, it, it blesses me to see everyone here, you know. Uh, my husband and I are open to, you know, receiving and opening up the doors to, you know, God's people. Family of God. Amen? Amen. Amen. You know, because we are family. Yeah. Yeah, you know, right. and the thing is that we need to draw closer now than ever. Mm. That's what the Word yeah. of God tells us. Draw nearer than ever before. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. see the signs all around yeah. us. Yeah. Yeah. And we need to you know, remember, family, that's the um, theme this year for us. Family. Amen. No matter what happens, just always know that God loves you. Amen. And putting him first will restore and renew you. Amen. Amen. Yes. Praise the Lord. <laughs> oh, you're taking everybody's shirt, huh, sister? Right now, we're going to go ahead and take, remove your hands, please, we're going to the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. Amen? Amen. We have my brother here. Uh, you got to talk to him, bro. That's the way it is. <laughs> All right. So, go ahead and remove your covers. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God. Individual with liberty and justice for all. Amen. 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 Thank you for your service. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, anybody that uh, has been in the service, can you please stand up? Any service members, let's give them a round of applause. Amen. Amen. But you know, if they wouldn't have uh, did what they did, we wouldn't be here. 
have a chance to do this. Amen. So uh, I want all the representatives of all the clubs and I told you to come up. Can you come up, please? Amen. Pastor Marty, Marty, come up to me because I didn't get a chance to tell you. God's warriors. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 All right, guys, let's get up on the stage because we're, uh, we're streaming live on Facebook. So you guys get up on the stage. So uh, I hope you guys brush your teeth and comb your hair. Amen. Let's get closer, closer together. Amen. So we have uh, God's warriors. Let's give them a round of applause. Rock Bottom MC, give them a round of applause. Roblox MC, give them a round of applause. Fast Roads uh, Church and Motorcycle Ministry, give them a round of applause. We have uh, Cross Ministry, give them a round of applause. We got uh, Soldiers for Jesus, amen. We got uh, Calvary Bible Church over here from Watsonville. We got Righteous for Christ. Amen. We also have our, our brothers, uh, the warriors that came all the way from, uh, what am I saying yeah. From Fresno. Let's get on the warriors. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And the Broken Chains Ministry. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to have them turn around. It'll be a good photo op and see, take a picture of all the patches. So you guys can turn around. Beautiful. Yeah, I think they look better, except the woman, she, she's okay, but the guys look better turned around, amen? Yeah. <laughs> amen. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Praise Jesus, amen? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, guys. Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you, guys, very much. Amen, amen. I think we got all the all the primary stuff all the way. If it's your birthday, can you stand up? If you've been uh, the last in uh, June or coming up in July, get up and we'll wish you a happy birthday. Stand up. Oh, Mark, your birthday too. All right. All right. Good well, let's get your proof. Hey, stand up. Stand up. Stand up. We're going to wish you guys a happy birthday, right? Everybody sing. Happy birthday to you. So today I'm not going to preach, but I want to tell you something that when I was walking uh, and driving down uh, in uh, the Fremont area, you know, you see that area is really green, the mountains, I don't know if you're, if you're familiar with those mountains, but it's really green, but right now it's so dry that it's ready for a fire, you know, to get started, and they just kind of remind me of the theme that we're going to have today, our theme is living water today, and I know that when that grass is green, that it's getting all the nourishment, it's getting all the all the, the water that it needs from the from the from the sky, from Lord bringing that rain. We had an awesome uh, winter time, you know. We have a lot of water in our lakes. Amen. Praise the Lord for that. You know, if take a pass, if you would have rode through here last year, you see nothing yep. but dirt out there, you know, with old cars yep. abandoned and all that stuff. So yeah, it's a, it's a blessing to have all the all the green back and water amen. amen but that brings me back to my point about the dry the dry grass you know a lot of us are going through that right now because of all the stuff that's happening you know in our world. you know we're not looking at we're not looking at get, receiving that that nourishment from the lord that he wants to give us and i think we need to open up to that we need to receive that living water that he wants to give us amen, amen. But like i said that's our theme today living water so every speaker that's going to be coming up today is going to be around that uh, around that message amen, amen. So every year we have a we have a theme. This is our 15th year, believe it or not. We used to do it downtown and at an old church down there when they had the uh, the motorcycle rally. So this is our 15th year trying to unite people, you know, trying to unite clubs and trying to unite just anybody that wants to come. Amen. Amen. So uh, our our deal here uh, is to, is to unite everybody and and to be able to just recognize, hey, there's other people that do what we do. Amen. Uh, Sideshow, 
He's the top hatter here in, in Hollister. He was going to come today and open up and, and prayer, but he they're doing their poker run. But while I was talking to him, and he was explaining that to me, he asked me for prayer. And, you know, <clears throat> that's what we do, you know. That's our that's our, our, uh, our deal is go out and reach these one percenters. And we have reached a lot of 81s that help answer prayer. We have reached a lot of top hatters that have reached prayer. I mean, uh Henchmen that have come over to the Lord to know the Lord. Yeah. So, you know, that's, that's, how, that's how we work. You know? I mean, that's, this is the ministry that you're in. You know, you're out here to, to be somebody uh, like the world that they never see. You'll be the first church that they'll ever see. You'll be the first uh, relationship with Jesus that they'll ever recognize. Amen? Amen. So when you have the opportunity, you got to take advantage of it. Amen? Amen. Amen. So uh, saying that, let's just uh, give Jesus one more time a round of applause. Amen. Amen. I'd like to thank our, our in-house uh, DJ. He's always helping us out. This is Robert. Robert. He's Native American, so I call him Indian Robert. Right? Yeah. That's, 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 my, that's my code name for him. Indian Robert, that's what I have on my phone anyways. <laughs> I'm, I'm really happy to see him. We're going to get him up for prayer at the end of the day. Uh, but the first uh, speaker that we have today is uh, going to be uh, Pastor Chris, and he's from the Road Dog Motorcycle Club out of the Modesto area. So let's give Pastor Chris a round of applause. All right. Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys doing today? Good morning. I'm glad to hear people yelling bless. I tell you what, though, all that yelling, all that praise and worship, all this glory to God, that's what we should be doing, right? Amen. Amen. Think about Philippians chapter 4 says rejoice. It says to rejoice in the Lord. That's right. It says, oh, you guys know this? It says rejoice in the Lord. And again, I said rejoice and then let your request be made known to God. Yeah. How many of us get up in the morning, we give God that glory, we, we rejoice, we thank you, thank you for allowing me to wake up, thank you for allowing me to be here, thank you for allowing me to, to be able to, to be a light and a vessel for you, help me to be a vessel for you, right? We, we wake up and we're giving God that glory, and, and then it says you have this peace that surpasses all understanding. Where does that peace come from? Where, where does that peace come from? It comes from within. The Holy Spirit. You know, in order to have that kind of peace, we got to have a relationship with God. we got to have an understanding of who Jesus is. We gotta have Jesus within us. If I if I take this life water, life water, and I'm walking through the desert and I'm dying of thirst, if I'm just dumping this on my head and keeping it close to me, is it gonna help me? Not at all. What do I gotta do with life water? Gonna drink it, and it's gonna help my physical body. This kind of water. It's gonna help me physically, but I'm gonna thirst again. 10, 15 more minutes down the road in the desert, dying in the heat, 115 degrees. I'm gonna be thirsty. Wow. Awesome thing about the Holy Spirit. It's that spiritual water. Amen. That spiritual water, that water that, that you're not going to thirst again. You're not going to crave again. It's going to fill that hole. We see a lost generation out there right now searching and trying everything in the world. Some of them are looking at drugs. Some of them are looking at alcohol. Some of them are looking to fill that void in all kinds of sin. They're looking for something to fill that void inside, that hunger, that thirst. I remember when I would go out and drink alcohol, I'd hit this one point, this one level of a high, and I would look for that level every time. But the thing is, I would never hit it. 
I would drink to the point that I would almost die trying to get that again. It's because it's a void that cannot be filled by any drug, any alcohol, anything like that. It's a God-sized hole, and we're made to have a relationship with God. That's right. And if we want to be able to, 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 to flow, to shine as a Christian, we need to plug into that relationship with God. As I started out here and talking about rejoicing in the Lord, we have to be able to plug into God daily to, to, to get that flow, that that that. that that point out from us. Come on. If if I don't charge my cell phone, it gets weak. As a Christian, if I'm just keeping God close to me and not in me, <coughs> if I only turn to God when I'm in trouble and yell help, is it doing me any good? It's like carrying this water in the desert and not drinking. This honestly wasn't my message today. I haven't even opened the Bible. <laughs> but that's okay. We have to we have to let the spirit flow. We have to plug it into it. Well, I just lost one of my passages. Hey, anybody else use run flyers for Bible club? <laughs> I'm glad to know I'm not the only one. <laughs> All right. So, um, let me see here. John chapter 7, starting at verse 37, says, On the last day of the great feast, the great day, Jesus stood up and cried out, If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. Whoever believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. Now this he said about the Spirit, whom those who believe in him were to receive. For as the Spirit had not yet been given, because Jesus was not yet glorified. You know, this is a good reminder. One thing, how do you get the Spirit? Well, it took Jesus dying on the cross. Jesus died on the cross for our sins. What does that mean? Does it mean it's too late for any one of us? No. It means as long as we got breath in our body, we have a chance to be able to have that spirit, to be able to have that salvation. And why wow. is that? It's because Jesus died for our sins. John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world. How much did he love us? So much that he put it into action. Come on, come on. God loved the world so much that he gave his only begotten son. Come on. That whosoever believes in him, put your name there. If you feel like you're not good enough, if you feel like you're inadequate, or maybe your task is too much, put your name there. Whosoever believes should not perish. That's right. That's right. That includes you. Whosoever believes in him should not perish, but what? Have eternal life. <coughs> and when Jesus is saying here, when you have that spirit, and the Bible says that the Holy Spirit is a Deposit, guaranteeing your inheritance. If you have believed in Jesus, you have the Holy Spirit within you as a deposit guaranteeing your inheritance. Amen. Amen. You're going to heaven. And it says that, that rivers of living water will flow out of your heart. That means you're not just going to have enough for you. That means that Spirit's going to start showing in your life. You're going to have the chance to, to tell people about Jesus. There's going to be people willing to listen to you that won't listen to me. Come on. Think about this. Don't wait for a preacher to start telling your loved ones about Jesus. Don't wait for a preacher to start telling your loved ones about Jesus, your friends, your family, those in your inner circle. Start planting those seeds. Start telling them about what God has done for you. Because we all have that story. We all have a self that God has done for us that he hasn't done for anybody else. You have a chance to relate to people. You see, John 3, 17 says, For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world. He didn't come here to kick us. He didn't come here to put us down, to tell us we weren't good enough. And the Bible makes clear that we all sin. We all fall short of God's glory. But it's through Christ Jesus that we have eternal life. 
through Christ Jesus that we have that life. We have that water. And what is it based on? It's not based on works. It's based on a relationship. Are you walking with the Lord daily? Are you in the Word daily? Are you seeking God first? If you are, it's going to show in your life. It's going to shine. You're going to shine. Man, I never even opened my notes today. Okay, so Galatians chapter 5, starting at verse 16. He says, keep in step with the Spirit. It says, but I say, walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. Amen. For the desires of the flesh are against the Spirit, and the desires of the Spirit is against the flesh. For these are opposed to each other to keep you from doing the things that you want to do. Now, our flesh wants to go do all the wrong things. We want to live for ourselves. We want to go out and do what feels good. We want to go out and Maybe party. Some people want to gamble. Some people chase lust. And it's all stuff that's designed to feel good for a minute, but it destroys you in the end. Yeah. It leads to a road to destruction. And the Bible says that right. if you're in step with the Spirit, it stops you from doing these things. When I was a young man, when I was a teenager, I thought every day every day I'd live to that next time I was going to go out and get drunk and party. Hang out with my friends. And I thought, man, that's that's the life. That's the way. Mm. Now I haven't touched that junk in so long. I look back and I think, man, God's done so much more. Life's been so much more. He's given me so much more. And I enjoy life. Now when I wake up in the morning, I'm not trying to get this nasty taste out of my mouth. Mm. Uh I'm not feeling dragged down half the day. (laughs) And I can lane split. Anybody ever ever tried lane split when you're buzzed? No. No. Anyway. Uh. It says, but if you're led by the Spirit, you're not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are evident. Sexual immorality, impurity, sensually, idolatry, sorcery, enmity, Strife, jealous fits, rage and anger, rivalries, dissension, divisions, envy, drunkenness, orgies, and things like these. I warn you, as I warned you before, that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. It says, but, and notice those were fruits with an S, but it says the fruit, one fruit. Of the spirit, the spirit within you, the living water. It says, the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things, there's no law. And those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. Now, the one thing I love is maybe you had been in that first list. Maybe you had done that stuff, but you were forgiven because of what Jesus did. He took our place on the cross. He substituted for us. He paid for our sins. Now, when I see people out there in the world living that way, what am I doing? I can smack them on the hand, tell them how bad they are, and tell them they're going to hell. Yeah. Or I can stop and tell them, hey, look, man, this road you're headed down, it's a road of destruction. Yep. It's no way to live. You're going to end up in jail or dead or hell. Is that where you want to be? Let me tell you, Jesus died on the cross for your sins. Your forgiveness is paid for on the cross of Calvary. And all you got to do is accept it. Yeah. And to accept it isn't just to say that Jesus lived to... to Almost 2,000 years ago. It's not to say that that, that Jesus was a man of history. It's to say that Jesus is the one and only Son of God. That he died on the cross and he rose again in three days. He paid for your sins and you need him to make it. If you're willing to accept that, you're going to heaven. Romans 10.9 says, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Amen. 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 Give God that glory today. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Praise the Lord. Amen. Is there Pastor Chris? A round of applause. Yeah. Thank you, brother. You know, Pastor, we belong to a one percenter club and call the Road Dogs around in the Modesto area. But you know that God placed him there. But he used to be in a Christian club and God placed him there to be able to minister to these brothers. I know he's doing an impact over there. So praise the Lord for that. Amen. Amen. Uh, the warriors of faith, can you guys stand up for me, please? Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hell of a heat, amen. <laughs> you know, uh, we went to a camping trip with them this past weekend. I recommend that all you guys next year make arrangements to go to this event. It was awesome. We had such a great time. You know, we took our trailers, tents. You know, the fellowship was awesome. It was great. Yeah. The worship, it was just great. I want to thank Pastor Rob, who's not here today, but that's the national president of this club. But I also want to thank everybody that came today from the Warriors of Faith. Amen. Thank you for your hospitality last week. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. So, uh, why don't you guys everybody stand up real quick? I don't want you guys to get all sleepy on me, so I want you guys to do this exercise. Come on. Really sound, come on, come on. There you go. Woo! All right. Amen. Yeah, man. Thank you. Everybody's starting to do this already. All right. Time to sit down. This, this little day is, amen? All right. Have a seat. Thanks, bro. It's all about having fun. Amen? We're all familiar, all right? Yeah. Right, we're not like the typical church that makes you kind of just uh, sit there and hear the message all through the whole time. But, I mean, nothing wrong with that because the Holy Spirit moves, but we want to get you guys excited and happy and just enjoy it. Amen? Amen. We have our next speaker, and he's uh, one of our members. Uh, he is uh, Luis Canales, and uh, this will be his first time here uh, speaking. So let's give uh, Luis Canales a round of applause. Today, we're talking about living water. I, I, Amen? Amen? How many times have we gone to the well R -A -G -E. to drink? Amen? Amen. Yeah. Plenty of times. Over and over and over. We've drank until we fall down. Come on. We've, we've drunk until we don't even know where we're at. Amen? Or was that just me today? <laughs> Amen? Because I, I know back in the day when, when I was doing my thing, I just didn't care. I just drank and got my fill, but I never got filled. Amen? Until one day, one day, I went to the well. And somebody gave me a cup. Ooh. And they said, if you drink from this cup, you won't thirst anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Come on. Yeah. So I drank. But I did not believe. Yeah. Come on. Amen? Come on. I was fooling myself. Preach it. I was I was one of those men that if I go to church with my wife, I won't get yelled at as much. <laughs> if I go to church, she's going to look at me like I changed. Or is that just me today? Come on, man. We're in church. We're in church this morning. One day, let's just take it back a notch. Let's just get personal. Come on. You know, when the, when the woman was at the well and the Lord came to her and says, why are you drinking that water? 
I'll give you the living water. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. One day, my son got into some trouble. Pretty good trouble. And uh, um, they took him away. And we love our children. Yes, we, do. we would do anything for our children. Yes. There was nothing that I could do. Nothing. Nothing that I could do. So my wife told me, hey, I'm going to church. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And I said, you do what you got to do. I'm going to do what I'm going to do. Amen? Amen. She turned to God. I turned to the streets. And I got more rebellious than I ever was. Bad, bad. So one day, there was a knock on the door, and uh, um, I went, and I drank from the cup again. But this time, when I drank, I was filled. Amen. 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 And ever since then, I've just been filled with the Holy Spirit this morning. And for 28 years, that's what my son did in prison. 27 years. And every day of those 27 years, I prayed for him. Because those that have been incarcerated, know what it's about when they go behind those doors. Yeah. It's not fun. Yeah. Amen? Amen. They tell you when to get up. They tell you when to, they tell you everything. Yeah. After he, he came home. And my heart was content. Because I know where I was at at that moment. Because if it wasn't for God, if it wasn't for Jesus, I would not be standing here today. Yeah. Guaranteed, I would not be standing here today. Because I went out and I looked for things to destroy and to destroy me. But because I had a praying wife, a praying mother, Praying grandmother. Amen. 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 And today, our cups are full. Amen. 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 And they're over. They're overflowing this morning with the with the spirit of the Lord. Amen. 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 But sometimes, do we? What do we fill that cup with? Come on. Amen? Amen. With things of the world. Sometimes we fill our cups with problems, children, money, work. And sometimes we don't know we're filling our cup this morning with all this stuff. And then when the Lord speaks to us, we think it's God. But what's really speaking to you this morning? What water are you drinking this morning? This morning, we need to empty our cups this morning. We need to empty our hearts this morning. Because when God calls, we got to we got to surrender. Amen. We got to kneel down before our Lord and fill his cup. Because it's not our cup. We can fill it with water or, or whatever we want to fill it with. But when the Lord fills it with his spirit, oh, there yeah. is no door that can be closed. Amen. There is nothing that we cannot do. Because when the Lord calls us and he says, you need to go do this. And we feel 
I can't speak. I can't read. I, I, I'm too nervous. But when you let God be God, yeah. I got a, um, I didn't get a call this morning, but my wife got a call from a person, and it was, it was just perfect timing because God's always, God is always on time. Yeah. Right? And they just said, let go. Yeah. Just let go. Yeah. Let God be God. Yeah. Because when God is in you, you can just do anything and everything. Amen? Amen. Amen. Like Pastor said, I haven't even opened my notes. <laughs> Amen? Amen. And in John chapter 4, 15, the woman said to him, Sir, give me this water that I may not thirst nor come here to draw again. Once the Lord fills our cups, we thirst no more. And we shouldn't look back. How many of us try to look back and say, man, you know, remember the day we were just, you know, that was yesterday. Yesterday's gone. Right. We can't bring back yesterday, but we can yeah. do it today. Yes. That's right. When we fill our cup this morning, yes. I'd like everybody to stretch out their hand right now. Empty your cup. And then some of us have to shake it. You know? it's, it's, it's stuffed in there, amen? Yeah. And let, let's let the Holy Spirit this morning. That's right. Amen. Let's let the Holy Spirit this morning yeah. fill right. our cup this morning. Yeah. Because right. when we go out those doors, there's only one person that's going to want to meet us out there. And if our cup is not filled, yeah. he will take us down. Yeah. He will take us out. Yeah. Because if we're not filled with the Spirit this morning, we cannot yeah. fight. Yeah. We don't have the power. Yeah. We don't have... The, the works that God has given us. Yep. Amen? Amen. Amen. And I'm just going to, I'm going to close with that. Let's just fill our cups this morning. Yeah. Thank you, Amen. 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 Thank you, Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Yeah. Amen. 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 Amen, amen, amen. So we're all on Facebook here today. So can you come and turn the camera around so you can get pictures of everybody? Uh, it's live streaming live right now on Facebook. So uh, there you go. I say hi to everybody out there on Facebook land. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. There you go.
But we know, God, that we serve a God that will wash us white as snow, God. That you are a God. You are a king. You are a master. You are everything, God. And we ask, Lord God, that our hearts would be open to receive from every speaker that is going to be here today, God. Lord, let your anointing flow, God. Let us be filled, Father God, Lord, and let us, Father God, be out there, Father God, and share your word and give it to others out there, dear God. Lord, we are your disciples, we are your vessels, Father God, and we know you are coming soon, God. Let us speak, Father God, what saith the Lord God. Let us, Father God, be those vessels of honor, Father God, for your honor and glory, God. We just praise you and thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody say amen. Yeah, come on, let's give Jesus a round of applause. Amen. 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 We have our next speaker. Uh, go have a seat. We have uh, Brother Bob Chapman, and he's from uh, Rock Bottom uh, Rockers. Come on up, brother. Amen. Come on, let's give a round of applause. Yeah. They don't know what order they're getting called to come up. I mean, I can do that. Right? They're all like, I wonder which way, what time I'm coming up. I wonder if I'm coming up. Uh, welcome, brother. God bless you. And uh, the Holy Spirit moving you. Amen? I was ready three minutes ago, but when he called me, I wasn't. <laughs> With the Spirit of the Lord is there's freedom. Amen. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Living water. So, first off, thank you, Pastor, for having me. I'm humbled. I'm grateful. And, and I'm going to respect your, your, your 10 to 15 minutes. But I got to say this. When I was looking for living water for my study, I went down so many rabbit holes. And I sat at the well. And I, and I cut this down from probably two and a half hours to, to meet where we're at. <laughs> But I got blessed. Yeah, <laughs> so, with my notes, I was going to try to just shorten it some more. I'm just, I'm just going to read it. Okay, and, and we can get this thing moving. Yeah. So, as I was reading chapter four, it, it was uh, the woman of the well, and, and, and I kept coming back to that over and over and over. I did word studies. I searched scriptures and continually found myself studying that woman in the well, okay. nugget after nugget. I'm not going to read the entire thing with respect, but I am going to back this up with scripture. Verse 4, Jesus traveling from Judea to Galilee. The word that I looked up, man, was he needed to go to Samaria. Come on. Yeah. He needed that home necessity established by the counsel of God, especially by the purpose of of his, sorry, which relates to the salvation of men by intervention of Christ. Come on. Come on. Can you say divine? divine. Come on, man. Come on. He left his disciples who go all the way around Samaria because of the prejudice. Come on. Come on, man. Come on. She's different. She's not one of them. Right? Right? He needed. It was a divine appointment. He left the 99. Yeah. He left the 99 for me. Yeah. He left. He only the 99 for yeah. you. Yeah. Samaritan says, and another thing, the conversation, man and women, married or not, is frowned upon within those cultures. So this conversation shouldn't have happened. And she says, what is it that you have no dealings with them? Verse 9. She was when he, when he asked of me for water, he was weary and tired. Come on. God, and man. Yes. Weary and thirsty. Right? Verse 9. You have no dealings with Samaritans. Come on. I'll pick that up later. <laughs> but also, it was the 6th hour, 12 noon. Yes. The women, they would go in packs. If she wasn't poor and, and discarded, she wouldn't have to stuck there at noon, high noon. In a desert, okay? Yeah. Nobody goes for water in the middle of the desert when they could have gone at 5 a.m. <clears throat> Cross the spot. <laughs> uh, I 
Apostles 5. Anyways, so, so not only is she thirsty and she's bringing back water for, for her company, her people, her family, but she's also open to having a conversation with, which is frowned upon. Not only is she sarcastic, she's inquisitive, maybe flirtatious, I kind of caught that, possibly, strike me if I'm wrong. Verse 16, you know, Jesus, Jesus verbally confronted her of her sin of adultery by previous men and her significant other. I'm not going to start this because I kind of lost my <laughs> he, he told her of one sin. And then all of a sudden, you know, she's telling others, Jesus just read my mail. He told me everything I've ever done. How many has been to church before? Pastor's reading your mail. Yeah. Hey. Come on. Hey, come on. Come on. Pastor's always reading my mail. Oh, God. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> but I'm going to point out something here too after I read uh, Jeremiah 2.13 they have forsaken me the fountain of living waters hewn for themselves cisterns, cisterns, broken cisterns water pots that hold no water that's Jeremiah uh, 2.13 Jeremiah mentions living water twice 17.13 is the other one this woman left her water pot and ran and told everybody about Jesus. Yeah, everybody. Yeah, That's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to tell everybody. Yeah. 25 years of drug addiction. I'm on my way to prison. Come on. Right? Didn't make it there. Now I work there. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Jesus left in 99 for me. No more meth or alcohol. I drank of those cups. All of them. Yeah, All of them. Yeah. I'm going to skip a couple things, though. And I, I'm just going to go to... Um, where is it? Oh. <laughs> I'm a mess. We all need Jesus. Galatians 5.19 is right in front of my face. New King James Version calls it the works of the flesh. Amplified. Calls it the practices of sin. Sinful nature are clearly evident. They are sexual immorality, impurity, sensuality, total irresponsibility. Come on. Yes, man. With lack of self-control. Come on. Idolatry. Come on. I'm the only one admitting this. You guys are better than me. <laughs> lack of self-control, idolatry, sorcery, hostility, strife. Come on. Admit it if it's you. Hostility, fixed anger, dispute, dissension, factions. That promote no heresies. Come on. I'm not the only one. It's me, though. It's me. I'm that simple guy, right? Before. There's three categories sexual sins, immorality, the root word, pornea, porno. Come on. Switch it up. Pagans use that as their, their sense of worship. Just saying. Adultery. Come on, man. Let's be real. Lust. The other one's religious uh, sins. Taking God out of the equation. Have you ever done that? Yeah. Yep. Love of money, possessions, chrome. I've chased yeah. so much chrome, my hair's turning chrome. <laughs> Harleys, careers, education, ministries, titles, CNN, ESPN, Fox, rainbows, alphabets. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah. Red elephants. <laughs> Blue donkeys. <laughs> the rest of the sins are relationships. All of these will make you thirst for more. Um, and I'm not even going to mention those. I kind of mentioned them all. But the gifts of the Spirit. I'm not saying gifts of bomb. I can't do this. Gifts of the Spirit. Gifts of the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit are the result of His presence. Not fruit of Bob. It's love, unselfish concern for others. Do we have that today for anybody? Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Joy, inner peace, patience. Come on. Not the ability to wait, but how we act when we wait. When we wait. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. I need your help. Faithfulness. Come on. Help me, Lord. Gentleness. Help me, Lord. Control. Against such there is no law. Jesus says, whoever drinks of this water will will thirst again of the well. All that other muck yeah. that we've done, we're going to thirst again. Hallelujah. More. I got a Harley. Now I'm too. 
On three. Who wants the Hardy shirt? I'm the only one yet. Try to have a Nike shirt in the past. Okay. Come on. Help us, Lord. <laughs> but the water I shall give, you will never thirst. I shall give in him will become in him a fountain of living water springing up into everlasting life. This is my creed today. I have been crucified in Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved and gave himself for me. For all that muck, he gave me him. Yes. Not scripture. Psalms 34, 8. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. No, that's all you yeah. Come on, it's here for Bobby. Come on. Yeah, when he was at the funeral, uh, red elephants and pink elephants would be back memories. <laughs> he used to watch Dumbo a lot, and he was watching that pink elephant fly by. I'm like, what the heck? But anyways, praise the Lord, amen? Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, pick up an offering for the church that we call Pastor Matuka today. So if you guys have uh, uh, in your heart to give to the church, so they always bless us, so we're just really grateful for them. Amen. Try Jesus' love. Try. Try, 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 try. Try. Oh, what is it? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's the money that we, we collect is for the, the church, you know, keep the lights on and, and all that stuff, you know. But we can never outgive God. Amen. There's no amount of money that we can place on our salvation. You know, we say, my old pastor used to say, salvation is free, but it'll cost you everything. Amen. So so we stand today as, as living testimonies, amen. Uh, so far I've enjoyed the messages. We are we, we need to seek after that living water. Yeah. In our dry places, as the pastor was talking about in Fremont, the, the dryness. In our deserts, God will give you an oasis. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. If you just continue to walk that walk. Amen. 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 Let's bless the offering. I'm going to ask you to come up after the offering. Just place it in the basket. Father, in the name of Jesus, we yeah. thank you, Lord, for each and every faithful giver, God. Not only do they give it their, their, their finances, God, but they give it their time, Father God, their, their love towards you, Father God, their commitment, Father, to you above everything, Lord. Bless, God. Move as, as they, they seek to draw closer to you, Father. You open doors and you close doors, God. We thank you for uh, the cheerful giver today. In Jesus' name we pray. And everyone says, Amen. 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 Got it all on camera. Oh no. <laughs> Going the wrong way again. No, it's all good. Wrong way is the right way, bro. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> right. You guys can just extend your hands out and bless us. Yeah. yeah. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. We ask that this uh, 
these finances for this uh, house of your house, Father, would be blessed, Father. We ask that it would multiply, that it would reach other people, Father, that it would be a blessing to other people that come in this ministry of this church, Father. We thank you. We ask that you bless uh, Pastor Reuben and Esther, Lord, that they would be guided and, and be blessed, Lord. We ask that you bless them financially, physically, mentally, Father. We ask that you bless the people here in this house, Father. We thank you. We honor you. And we praise you in the mighty name of Jesus. We all say it. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys and gals, for the offering. It was awesome. Amen. 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 So uh, our next speaker is uh, special. She's a special person to me. And uh, before we go on, we, you know, I used to, when they were talking about the, the pink elephants and all that stuff, I kind of made this little story back to me. Like, I came home from uh, uh, using pink elephants for like five, six days, amen? And then uh, my wife, Yolanda, she's like coming to a church like this, and I saw the church, and she was uh, attending regularly for many years. You know that she prayed for me for 15 years to come to the Lord. Hallelujah. And uh, thank God for praying women. Amen? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Anyways, I come to the church, and uh, well, I actually, I jumped in the car because she was ready to leave, and I jumped in the car, and she goes, you're not going. I go, yes, I am. Okay, like, Where are you going? Go to the church. I go, oh, okay, we're going to church then. So, uh, it was a little church over there by KLIV. I don't remember if you guys oh, wow, remember that wow, story. Wow. Wow. It was off the hook, man. It was like a tongue, uh, tongue speaking, the Holy Spirit moving. It was like devil stomping. You know, it was like, so when I walk in, and uh, all the things I just said uh, reflected on me. Amen? So, I walk in, I sit down, and they have an altar call at the end, and this, uh, this old woman behind me starts praying in tongues, and I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm, I'm raised Catholic, it's the first time I've ever been in a church like that, right? So then I'm, I'm thinking to myself, man, I got scared, right away, start thinking about brujeria, I don't even know, back in the day, the cutting, the so I'm like, okay, so, so then the service is over, over and then the old lady just kept on praying for me, man, I was like, you know, how many of you know that there's women out there that, if they get to pray for you, yeah. they won't stop. Yeah. Even if they don't know you, they won't stop praying yeah. for you. And I really yeah. believe that she prayed for me. Yeah. Come on, so she died, amen? Because I was out there, and for me to change that drastic, I know that had to be a lot of prayer, amen? Yeah. Yeah. But anyways, I tell you, Wanda, when we get back to the party, don't you ever bring me back to the church like that? You know, the brew house and stuff like that? But you know what? I was so high that when I heard her praying, I didn't was high anymore. And That's my right. Oh, man, it cost me all that money, and I'm. Just, oh, <laughs> but praise the Lord, that is good, amen. 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 Good. amen. So the next speaker, like I said, she's very special to me. We've been married for 47 years. Yeah. 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 The first 15 were a living help for her, but she hung in there, amen. amen. But praise the Lord that she's a. She's been by my side all the years, and I, I could never have asked for anybody more special. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. 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 Senior pastor to 
But what's the cor correlation? Correlation between you, your your um, living water inside you. Come on. I mean, what do you mean? This is about Jesus, not about me. I want to talk about what his he went through. Wow. Now he died for us and everything. And she goes, no, but what about you? How did how did you come into the water? Wow. How did you get that living water? Yeah. And he goes, because I know you did. She goes, uh, and I was like, hmm? yeah, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> so you know, I, had, I already had you know back up all this uh, all this information <laughs> <laughs> started. I was like, how do you know the pump of the water coming flowing inside yeah. you and you know, um, we have free water mm -hmm. tapping, and you know we can we can always all take it and, and drink it. It's free, and I can understand that. That Jesus didn't um, he didn't um, say, well, if you work, if you have this, this, it was free because even at the restaurant we go to the restaurant and, yeah. and we can get free water, right? Yeah. So he was trying to. I could see where he was coming from. And um, she goes, no, Mom. She goes, I know what you're saying, but it has to come. Where did you get the lift? How did you start it, you know? Uh, so I was like, oh, you know, so I told her I could understand. Like, I don't know how to share that, you know? I never really I'm opened not, up to that. I'm not so I was like, gosh, it was the night before, and I already had everything. But so what am I going to do now? He's <laughs> right, you know? Because sometimes, you know, the past, for me, I try to just forget about it, yep. right? Yeah. And I was like, okay, fine. What am I going to talk? I don't, I don't really have a big testimony where, you know, I was in gangs or, you know, I wear, you know, um, my hair, and, you know, I ride it with, you know, <laughs> nice inside you, whatever, you know? <laughs> 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 I mean, I was like ready to, to so I even, I even got these living water pamphlets, you know, <laughs> my favorite speaker, Billy Graham, and, yeah. you know, I got two, I think I got it, it's living water, it's kind of pass it now. Anyways, um, I was like, okay, Lord. I, I, I stopped, because she put me on a standby, or stands, yes. you know, just still. Oh, I'm stuck now. What am I going to say? And um, I'm getting ahead of myself. Huh? But anyways, I hope that you get blessed. And um, if you do, praise the Lord. Amen. 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 That's right. That's praise him anyway. to be here with you today representing cross ministry i have been given the opportunity to speak on the topic of living waters i am truly grateful for this chance to share my thoughts and insights with you all now remember that um mine was totally different it's not about me but it was about jesus christ so it's kind of called into my experience but before i begin I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to Pastor Ruben and Esther Matuk for graciously opening the doors of this church to us. Your warm welcome and hospitality and tru are truly appreciated. Amen. And I pray that both the church and its congregation continue to be blessed abundantly. Yeah. Amen. So, Amen. I wanted to break a little bit, of, a little story that I have here. Just from just from this, I can listen up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so nervous, but yeah. anyways, here it goes. 
hope you enjoy this. Um, there was one sick woman who woke up one morning, looked in the mirror, and noticed she had only three hairs on her head. Oh, she said, I think I'll braid my hair today. She went ahead and did it. So she did, and she had a wonderful day. The next day, she woke up, looked in the mirror, and saw that she had only two hairs on her head. Hmm, she said. I think I'll part my hair down the middle today. So she did, and she had a great, grand day. The next day, she woke up, looked in the mirror, and she noticed that she had only one hair on her head. Well, she said, today I'm going to wear my hair in a ponytail. <laughs> so she did, and she had a fun, fun day. The next day, she woke up, looked in the mirror, and she noticed that there weren't a single hair on her head. Hey, she exclaimed, I don't have to fix my hair today. <laughs> <laughs> this is a woman who understood the power of good attitude under any circumstances. Right? Let's pray. Dear Father, today I ask that you use me to show how great you are. Help me to be like an open container that you can fill, fill me with your love and goodness. I want to bring glory and honor to everything I say and do. Amen. Amen. So as I already had read um, John 7, 37, and um, I'm going to read it again real quick, okay? Amen. On the last day, the great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried out. And I just imagined crying. He was like, I mean, there was tons of people there. He just stood up and, and spoke loud. If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. Verse 8, 38. He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. Amen. But this he spoke concerning the spirit whom those believing in him would receive, for the Holy Spirit was not yet given because Jesus was not yet glorified. And we, we know that Amen. he was glorified when, when he, um, on the cross, on, died for us. Here's my story, my personal journey of overcoming insecurity and finding redemption in delves into the impact of childhood experiences. The story faced, the struggle, sorry, excuse me, the struggles faced in relationships and ultimate realization that a relationship with Jesus Christ is a key to self fulfillment and spiritual Amen. growth. Amen. Growing up, I was excuse me. Growing up, I was constantly reminded of my physical appearance, being called flaca, huesos. That's my, you know, I told my my brothers was just make fun of me because I was so skinny, right? Um, due to my skinny frame, this derogatory remarks and the lack of affection from my mother left me feeling unworthy and unloved. For years I carried this burden, seeking validation from others and engaging in unhealthy behaviors like taking pills to gain weight. Wow. And now I'm like, oh, I need some pills to lose weight. <laughs> 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 Growing up in a large family, I faced numerous challenges that left me feeling insecure, unworthy, unworthy from being labeled as the ugly one, to enduring. <laughs> it's hard for me to talk about myself, I don't why, but I got it. And that's been years ago. To understand mental abuse in my marriage, I struggled to find my identity and 
purpose in life. However, though a series of trials and tribulations, I discovered the power of self-acceptance and the transformation future of the relationship with Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. My early years of marriage were marked by I don't know if I said this, but I'll say it again. My early, my early years of marriage were marked by mental abuse and the constant need for approval from my husband. Disapproving parents as well. These experiences further reinforced my low self-esteem and, and the belief that I would never amount to anything. However, however it was through the grace of God that my marriage survived. Amen. And I began to prioritize ex experiencing love, expressing love and affection to my children, yeah. breaking the cycle of emotional Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. 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 And every time I see him, I always hug him and I kiss him and say, no, I love that. Yeah. And I wanted to break that. Amen. Despite attending church, engaging in religious practices, I still felt spiritually empty. It was only when I hit rock bottom, contemplating ending my life, come on, come on. Come on. that I realized that I that I realized the need for a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Amen. I sought solace in faith striving to be a better wife, mother, and daughter. Through, through this journey, I discovered that God can use even the most broken individual, yeah. damaged goods like me, for his purpose. Yeah. Yeah. In conclusion, my journey is, my journey in life has been overcoming insecurities and finding yeah. redemption from the scars of childhood insecurities to the struggles faced in relationships. I have learned that true fulfillment comes from a relationship with Jesus Christ, Amen. rather than seeking validation from others or engaging in religious rituals. Through faith, I have witnessed transformation in myself, my family, and those around me. As I continue to grow and heal, I strive to be an open vessel, ready to be filled with God's love and goodness, bringing glory and honor to him in all that I do and say. May the living waters of Jesus Christ continue to quench the thirst of all who come in contact with him. Amen. Amen. Prayer. Um, dear Jesus, thank you for making me and for loving me, yeah, even when I ignored you and went my own way. I realize now that I need you in my life, and I am sorry for my sins. The things that I've done that I know I did, and the things that I didn't, that I don't know that I did, I ask you to forgive me and cleanse my life. Thank you for dying on the cross. Thank you for dying on the cross for me. Please help me to be on, excuse me, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so thank you for dying on the cross for me. Please help me to understand it more as much as I know how. I want to follow you from now on. Please come into my life and make me a new person inside. I accept your gift of salvation one that I'll never deserve, and I want to live for your purpose the rest of my life. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 What I love about Jesus Christ is he says, you know, it's free. Yeah. We're talking about the making fun during the family. It's all free. Yeah. Free. Yeah. free. Yeah. free. Yeah. Um, I want to read this real quick before I get done. You're not nervous, no more. 
In Revelations 21, 5, 6 says, If you're thirsty, come to me without cost. Come on. Free. Through Revelations 22, 16, 17, If you're thirsty, come to me without cost. And I think that's so beautiful because we don't have to pay. He paid it on the cross for us. It's free for us, right? Yeah. 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 Okay, here, there's come to me with that cause. It's it's so um, it's so good news to know that you can get all this for free. Yeah. And it's already inside you. When the river is flowing, you'll know it's flowing because changes will, will be occurring in your soul. Mm. And as I was reading John the whole thing, I was like, wow, I just got so excited. <laughs> Um, and that fear that about speaking, and I still have it in my little life, Jesus. It was, it, it was overwhelming. Come on. Hallelujah. Oh, then, my last one. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. I had so much to help. Yeah. This and it's it's um what is it? What time? What date and time is it today? Mm. Can anybody tell me what date and time? July first. Huh? July first. What is it? July first. What? First. What time? Ten fifty one. Ten fifteen. So you can't say you didn't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> and the Lord comes. Come on. Come on. You know, you heard. Come on. Yeah. 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 And then, 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 and Oh, 
Remember when she did top ten for me at the well? Mm -hmm. And she said, how are you going to get that water when the well is so deep? Ooh, come on. Oh, that's good. Come on. Deep. Remember that? Mm -hmm. the, the well is deep. Was she talking about the physical well? Mm -hmm. Or was she talking about
And nothing satisfies you. Now you can tell it short. And you get the, the right thing to drink. Come on. Yeah. It satisfies yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. And that, that, you know, when little kids, they get thirsty and they come up to the and they what do you mean? Can I have some water? Can you get my dash of cold water? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. 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 We need to do that. Yeah. 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 We need to do that. We need to come to that water. Because, you know, that sounds yeah. yeah. And John 19, 14, I mean 34, 35, John 19, 34, 35. And with this ourselves, we talk about the blood of Christ, which we should, because that was Savior. Yeah. So remember when, when the Roman stuck his spear into his side? The water of life. Yeah. The water of life. Yeah. Not only he said, my blood cleans, cleanses the sin, but my water fills you. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Let the water. Yeah. Let the water of Christ fill you. You're not going to get a pill out there. You get now you take with a you drink of that water, you're going to be thirsty again. You drink of my water, you got to flow out of you. And we did that so the pills. Remember when Lazarus was dead? Ooh, come on now. And what did his sister say? By now he stinks. Yeah. No matter what you say, he can be stinking dead. God can raise us again. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's hear it with Pastor Marty. Marty, Marty. Marty. Well, praise the Lord. Uh, we come to the end of the service. Uh, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, Open the altars up. We're going to have Sister Roxanne come up and sing a, a song while we uh, yeah. come up. We have all the pastors that have, all the pastors that are here come up, please. And uh, we'll get a chance to pray for brothers and sisters. And the living water, man, if you're thirsty for it, come on up. Then at the end, we're going to have our brother of the state uh, president, Billy. He's going to come and close uh, in prayer. But uh, get everybody up here. All the pastors, come on up, pastors. There you go. <laughs> so you guys out there in uh, Facebook land, you know, praise the Lord. Thank God for you guys that are listening today. Uh, you know, Pastor Matuk, uh, Ruben, and Esther, their home is always open here. You guys are in the area, we're more than welcome to come and visit them. And uh, if you're interested in riding uh, your motorcycle for the Lord, there's plenty of motorcycle ministries and clubs that you could join. Well, just hang out. You know, just, that's what we're about. We're not about what patch we wear. It's all about we're a brotherhood and sisterhood. Amen? Amen. Amen. That's why we have this, this uh, event every year so we can unite people together. And, uh, yeah. and it's an awesome event. I'm a pastor, right? Wow. I feel like 19 already. Praise the Lord. Woo! I might talk to him now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Amen. Amen. So uh, while uh, Roxanne sings uh, an acapella, we're going to have all the pastors come down come on, on the floor. We're going to have people come up. And they could ask for prayer. Don't be shy to come up because I, I know all of us, like Pastor Marty says, we have a, a deep well and we need to clean that out. Amen? Amen. 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 Here you go. Praise God. Hallelujah. Come on, Ross. Hallelujah. Whatever the, if the Lord puts upon your heart to come forth, don't be ashamed. We all need prayer. Hallelujah. In season and out. 
Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I was, was lost, but now. I was blind, but now I see. Well, it's amazing grace, how sweet the sound that has saved a wretch like me. I was born born but I found who was blind.
Thank you, guys. Thank you, pastors. Thank you. Thank you, pastors. Thank you.